Hi, I'm Kenneth Fowler, and today I'd like to show you uh, an idea about how to come up with a strumming pattern for the song Stewball Was a Racehorse. And I'm hoping that this will help you out thinking about rhythm in general, how to come up with a strumming pattern for any song. So to begin with, let's listen to the Peter, Paul, and Mary recording. And the idea is to listen to what they're doing, because we're going to use that to come up with our own ideas about how to go from two guitars to one ukulele. So here's Stewball. Just listen. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. three. So I'll pause them just for a minute, just enough to say that the song is in 3-4 time. You can hear the 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 
If you expected to hit and get a miss, don't worry about it. The strum police will not come for you. The main thing is to keep that hand going in even time. Tun, pum, 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 pum. So now let's move on to the chords of the song. I'm going to play it in G major, in the key of G major. Peter, Paul, and Mary are playing it in the key of G sharp major. One half step, that is one fret, higher up the fretboard. So if you ever want to play along with the recording and you own a capo, you can place the capo on fret one and then take all the chords, like here's G on frets two and three, and slide them up one fret and play with the capo on and you can play along with the record, with the chords that I'm going to be telling you. So it's very simple, verse only, no chorus. It's all the same. It's always the same. And it's f four measures of G. A stew ball was a racehorse, followed by four measures of A minor. And I wish he were mine. Followed by four measures of D. He never drank water. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. He always drank wine. And after that wine, uh, the next four measures are, the chord changes come a little faster. It's one measure of G, one measure of C, and then two measures of D to turn it around and bring it back to the beginning again. So one, two, three, one. comes the A minor. And now to D. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, and turn it around to G, C. Okay, so now I'm going to call out the chords and say the words at the same time, and we'll just go through one verse. And ready to do a down strum. Fingers up here. Oh, stew ball was a G racehorse. And I wish he were a minor. Mine. A chord changes on mine. on water. He always drank G, C, D, two measures. And it's nice to just hold that. Okay, a couple of other things. Um, I'm going to add a bit to our basic I'm going to add sometimes a single down strum for a measure. I like using my thumb for this. Which means I have to go back and forth between one, two, and three, two, two, and three, three, and four, and now boom. And I usually save that for the chord changes. So let me try that again. And three, two, two, and three, three, two, three. Here comes a chord change now. It's a nice sound. Next, we're going to add the last layer, which I think makes it very fun, um, which is that in this song, you hold single chords for a long time. So what's fun is to switch it up by either taking away notes from the chord or adding chord notes to the chord. So here it is with all three. Listen what happens when I let go of my middle finger. I'll put it back. Middle finger on, middle finger off middle finger on. 
So if I go back and forth, rock back and forth while I'm strumming, it'll sound like this. You'll need to practice this because the left hand and right hand have to work together. But it sounds great. Another version, two other versions you can play by, instead of uh, pulling away a finger, letting go, by adding a finger. I'm adding my pinky all the way up on fret five, maybe a bit of a stretch. Here's regular G. Here's G with pinky on fret five. You can also put the pinky on fret three. So pinky on three, no pinky on three, pinky on three, no pinky on three. So in the song, it might go like this. That'll take practice. You'll have to you'll have to work on that one some, but you can use this in lots of different songs. So just this general idea of experimenting with chords, like now I'm holding a D on all second fret. Um, well, what happens if I let go of my ring finger? On, ring finger off, ring finger on finger off. Now I'm going to put my ring finger on fret three. Two, fret three. Also we can try adding or taking away fingers on the A minor chord. So if I play A minor with my index, well what if I add my middle finger on the bottom string on fret two? That's the James Bond chord. Or I could add my um, ring finger on fret three. So these are all things you can do with A minor. I'm adding and taking the same weight notes I did on the G chord, just doing the same 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 string changes, same fret changes on the bottom string on the A minor chord. Same notes: G, A. Then D, now let's put it all together. So uh, I hope uh, this helps uh, you out uh, in your playing, either for this song or to get ideas about how to approach strumming on any song. And so for now, happy strumming and see you on the next one. Aloha. <laughs>